These um, surgulators are amazing. The one on the left is an old one, a spare from my whirlpool in the garage. And this is the new one that's in my new Dorothy Street whirlpool convertible. Yeah, this is the convertible. It's sort of like a portable, only you can convert it to a regular automatic with two filling faucets if you'd like. But there's going to be a real surprise with this machine that made me think I was seeing things. So you have these new crazy socks you got for Christmas. You don't know what to wash them with. You know, they're white on one end and green and red and whatever. You don't want to wash them with darks. You don't want to wash them with whites. So you try the super wash cycle because you want them to go for a long time, but you don't really want to dump any water out. This has the same cycles as the Whirlpool in the garage. The knit with the cool down, the permanent press, the um, regular cycle, and the gentle cycle. The only thing is this does have the super wash, and the one in the garage does not. This is the six minute super wash. And I'm gonna do a little trick for Westy and all the people who love tricks uh, in a moment when it fills. Now the agitation is really brisk on this, which wasn't any surprise, but here's a surprise. Right now it just paused. This pauses after the superwash rather than after the second fill. But rather than empty the water and start with a second fill, I just want to have like... I'm agitated, or rather, <laughs> a, um, what could we call this? We could call it a live soak, because it'll last for about two minutes, and then instead of filling again, it will just start agitating with the same water and soap, and then we'll get like a 25 minute wash. I had to replace this hose because the machine was taking forever to drain, because this kind of narrowed the flow. Now when I put a nice clear piece on like this, it drained in like just over a minute and it was fabulous. And after you're finished with your soak, your activated drain soak, you can just move the little hose over just like the faucet on easy. There's a little heartbeat. But now the big surprise is about to come. The first day I got this, I just ran over to the other side of the kitchen for a second and it started to spin and I thought I was having an audio hallucination. Um, these things, as somebody pointed out on a, one of the threads a couple weeks ago, I think somebody asked Kelly if his new portable spun at uh, 1,000 RPMs because whoever heard of a Whirlpool spinning fast? And so, watch this. Here's the spin. Now, I don't know enough to know how fast this is, but I know it's way faster than my Whirlpool in the garage. This is that silly bed of nails thing that I'm not too crazy about. I actually tend to leave it out because it's more fun to watch this. But this baby will take a lot of clothes. I've done a, a few of the heavy winter sweaters in here as I didn't feel like going out in the basement because it was so cold sometimes. It's this crazy surgulator. Every left bend has a right bend so that you're getting equal swishing and drag and force and push and press. It's an amazing agitator. I never really looked that closely at it until I watched what was going on in this one day when I had a lot of heavy stuff in there. It was just taking it all down effortlessly. How's my accent? <laughs> they all think that we have the accent. <laughs> so this is a beaut. I mean, my Aunt Margaret washed in the kitchen. This is a dream come true for me to have this little guy right at the wet bar. The booze is down below, but they call this silly thing a wet bar. Here's the beautiful, and I've been calling it a vizomatic. It's a vizi, right from the Latin verb, video, videre, 
vis visus to see. I don't know why I always said visomatic. And uh, it's, it's just so sweet. Although, you can see I need um, some work here. I need the um, dial. I don't know where it is. So, it's quiet when the drain isn't on. I just put that little stick in there. This is a two-speeder. Real powerful drain. Is as powerful as the Maytags. The only other ringer I've seen with a really good pump. I just want you to hear how quiet this machine is. I was just amazed. The other thing, it's the only ringer that I know of with a filter fill port. Now I've experimented with all kinds of fancy, pretty, and a couple of expensive filling systems, but they all sink. A simple hose works best. The hose works great. Uh, how does a roto swirl? If anyone knows where I could get the dial for this, the control dial, I'd, you know, spend a good buck to get it. I mean, it's just pitiful not to have it. And I also need a cap. This is all I have. The roto swirl scrubber cap is missing or whatever. But you know how I like to play. And guess what fits in here so nicely? Notice that the easy and the roto swirl are almost identical, but the roto swirl's fins kick out, which add just another little bit of current. But other than that, uh, I need to screw it in. Yes, they do want their screws in. <laughs> this one just popped out. I don't know if it's going to be on the film. The Royal Swirl is actually a little bit more powerful because of those extended fins, just like on the very flex agitator. Makes a big difference. This is the other easy, just a little bit, a little bit of soap on it from the last load. See it in slow motion, you might be able to get a better sense. I'm just draining here to get some clear water. Um, I had used warm water, it's a little cloudy. This thing started to go into the crusher, it seems, and then somebody said, oh no, oh no. And uh, it was saved. I'm just gonna get some water and some clothes in here to show you the ringer, and then another trick or two. This lady's drained, and we're just gonna throw these things in and get some fresh water in here. Very powerful. The um, cool thing about this is you can watch the ringing, don't get anything caught, and it'll ring in slow motion too, which is pretty unusual. Okay, I had the Maytag or the uh, Whirlpool agitator out, and I was just trying to figure out what goes on down here. I saw these ports, and I didn't know what they were, but in the meantime, look at that beautiful marble thing down there. You know, Whirlpool's never going to die. They're going to be around forever. Can you see that thing? It's unbelievable. The refinement, the evolution in the agitator post. But anyway, I wondered what these ports were for. And so I was, you know, playing with my suds return. And um, I found out something magical. Here it comes. <laughs> Watch, getting closer. Watch the ports. Oh, I hope. It, well, oh, it's going to work. Water both drains and fills through those holes, and I was shocked. Here's the drain. Um, see the little circles forming around those ports? The water's getting sucked into those ports. Did you see it? 